Mint Show, live from Long Island. Free-flowing talk with a charismatic down-to-earth host. Join Dean as he interviews and chats freely with his guests, ranging from superstar athletes to politicians, industry titans, and everyday folk with fascinating life stories. Dean educates, entertains, and most of all, touches people's lives. You're listening to The Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island. Good morning, everybody. This is your host, Dean. How are you today? It's uh, July 7th, 2016. A beautiful day here in Setauket, Long Island, on the North Shore. We're uh, now in the studios here. We uh, are going to go across the globe to Rhea Bo, the exclusive European correspondent for the Dean Blackman Show. Rhea, good morning. How are you? Rather, it's good afternoon to you. Hello, Dean, and hello, everybody. Um, what's it like going on over here? It's quite a nice day. Um, it's comically funny politically, as it usually is. So we've got it going on both ends at the moment. And Tony Blair is getting completely fried, but I'm sure we can go into that shortly. But otherwise, it's all good and hi to everybody. Great, Ria. What's new this lately with uh, Brexit uh, happening over in Europe? Okay, we've got our ex-Prime Minister, Tony Blair, is being dragged across the coals really badly. He's put a really compassionate speech out there after the report from the Iraq war where you guys, the US and the UK and some others went in, removed Saddam Hussein and found no, nuclears of, uh, no nuclear weapons of mass destruction. That's been questioned. The report has come out and it says you kind of shouldn't gone in there. And they've kind of blamed it on you guys, the US, which is kind of comical. I, I saw a thing on the TV last night, which was comedians, and they were saying British and American politics is like a gift that just keeps giving, Dean. Marvellous. Also re here in the studio is the sound technical manager, Anthony Lacauzi. Anthony, good morning. How are you? What's up, brother? What's new on your end, Anthony? Uh, not much, just um, working over here in the lovely studio we've been building and perfecting the sound with Rhea and having a great time, man. I don't know if you heard the great news out of uh, the sports world today, but the great Dwayne Wade, the great legendary basketball player of the Miami Heat, a uh, free agent, uh, signed yesterday with the Chicago Bulls, wow. and uh, just a great big blockbuster news announcement in the world of sports uh i compare Dwayne wade going to the chicago bulls after leaving his hometown miami heat almost as if uh, Derek jeter the legendary yankee was to leave the new york yankees and become a member of the boston red sox yeah that's yeah that's a big deal who's he going to be playing with now in the bulls he's going to be playing with the chicago bulls he'll but I be mean, what what are the men what are the team what are the teammates there you know what offhand that roster's changing so much really? uh that uh i don't even know what that lineup's going to even look like yet so maybe their glory days will come back their michael jordan days maybe will come back maybe i still think uh maybe that they're bringing a little bit too much uh age to that team mm -hmm. instead of guys uh, this is youth. the sport where they hit it with a stick uh, no, this is where they net in the in the ball. They put the basketball through the net. The one with the oh, stick is okay. baseball. Oh, okay, okay. You must be a big soccer fan, uh, Rhea. Uh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> Not even a little bit. I, the, only, uh, the only thing I really follow, and I'm quite passionate about and have been for some years, is the MotoGP, which I think is alien to you guys as well. Rhea, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? I never asked you that. Um, probably vanilla and peanut butter. Wow. Interesting. Anthony, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? I got to tell you, across the street, they just opened up an Italian ice and ice cream store. And they have the original Lemon King Ice of Corona Ices. And he's got Hershey's ice cream. That raspberry chocolate truffle Hershey's ice cream is off the charts. Wow. I, mean, I could yeah. eat it. I could eat it all day, every day. It's dangerous. Awesome. Dangerous. I'll give you some, Anthony. I, I will. I'll have to put it in a box with dry ice and FedEx overnight it to you. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's the thought that counts, darling. I told the guy, Joe, the owner, I says, Joe, if I'm never here one day, come knocking because there's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> my, has well. my favorite is Ralph's Mint Chocolate Chip Ices. That's a good one. 
delicious. I love that. Yeah, I prefer I think it's cool. I prefer that over ice cream or frozen yogurt. Oh well the froyo. I mean, I love froyo. Unbelievable. Froyo, that's so New York, honestly. Yeah, that's what we call it, froyo. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you seem like your your favorite snack is pretzels. Uh, I do. I actually like pre I like the ones, the other ones the, that that Shah had here last week with the hollowed out inside, the new the pretzel shells. Yes, I like those. Yes, but I'm a big pretzel fan. I could I could eat a bag of pretzels a day probably. Yeah. Wouldn't you say that the past four months it's been quite an interesting experience? Hell yeah! Setting up this unbelievable radio broadcasting studio in my house. It's been great. It's it's you know been many years since I've been in a studio. It brings back a lot of great memories from when I was younger. And I built my first recording studio. It's just slightly different kind of mechanics. I learned a tremendous amount of technical things from Ria, and it's amazing to see the progression from what we discussed in March and February to what's actually coming to life and how it's kind of metamorphosizing into something that's. Uh, now larger than all of us. It's really a beautiful thing. How about the experience that you've become friends also with my wife, Sharon? <laughs> and how about the fact that this broadcast studio <laughs> happens, <laughs> happens to be right in my home and what, you, what you're experiencing with Sharon, well, the, with the setup of, uh, of this broadcast studio in my home? Uh, what do you want to sh well, tell the audience about this. Besides you telling her that now I'm telling to remove, remove the couch, uh, the good news is that uh, <laughs> they can fold the laundry on our new custom desk here. So, uh, you know. Rhea, Rhea being in the UK gets off easy on that, right? Yeah, I got to catch the slack. For this. She gets off easy. Got hey, them. hey, guys, look, we just need to make it known from the very start that there's going to be a contract FedEx over to you, Dean, <laughs> saying as far as everything regarding the studio is always your fault. It's always my fault. I hear that all the time. <laughs> Maybe a little bit has, of that has to do with uh, being one of growing up as uh, one of five sons, five brothers. Myself being the non-twin, number f number five son, baby of the family, and that I had two sets of twin brothers. So I heard a little bit of that uh, over the years. Wait until my mother hears this, what I'm going to hear from her. Hello, Mrs. Blackman. <laughs> the great lady, sweetheart. Anthony, you had the opportunity to meet my mom yesterday over the phone. Yes, I did. She was awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, Rhea, anything else that you, before we uh, close out this uh, part of the show, is there anything, uh, any closing comments that you'd like to make? I think there probably is. I'd like to, because your mum's coming on the show and it's important that the people that she'll be mixing with, she may think that you're mixing with the wrong crowd, Dean, I think. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a good opportunity to shine a brighter light on myself and Anthony as the ones that make a vomit, and she may change her mind. All I know is that the millions and millions of people that are going to listen to the Dean Blackman show here in the United States, Rhea, they're going to love your accent. you got an incredible voice and accent. Yeah, that UK accent is great. Anthony, uh, well, I'm sorry, go ahead, Rhea. I said you're very kind to say that, but I guess around these parts, it's kind of fairly standard. Well, that's like here in New York, our, uh, you know, our accents are, you know, to us, we all sound the same. So when you hear someone from outside, you know. Anthony, anything that you want to close with? No, it's a beautiful day for once. Um, hopefully it stays like this and doesn't rain, you know. Well, on that note, um... As we come to a close, I want to wish everybody the great rest of the afternoon, uh, a great Friday tomorrow. Enjoy your weekend, and we will be back again on Tuesday, next Tuesday, at 4 p.m. Have a great weekend, and until next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye now. You've been listening to The Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island, New York. From all of us here, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. We look forward to hearing your comments via Facebook, Twitter, Skype, and email. And don't forget, you can visit the webpage anytime for the up-and-coming guest list. From all of us here, 
Have a good evening.